Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery at our hands. So we got a brand new update on the Dr. Disrespect story. Now, this situation has been ongoing for a minute now. And now we got an update to the story. We're going to get down to it because the story is kind of big because he ended up receiving a brand new deal. And a lot of people are loving it. A lot of people are happy for him. And a lot of people are not necessarily happy for it, which we're going to talk about in this video. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you're doing good today. But this story has been ongoing for a minute right like first of all he was banned on twitch and i got uh multiple clips that i want to share with you in this video specifically one where dr disrespect responds and talk about like what's going on but he was banned on twitch a while ago like years and years ago right then we heard the allegations like a couple of months ago dr disrespect issued his own statement over on twitter which he later deleted and ever since that statement youtube demonetized him YouTube did not ban him, Twitch banned him, Sponsor dropped him, his very own game studio that he founded dropped him as well. Nick Merckx also talked about it, he said what he said, Tim the Tatman also, his close uh, group talked about and said what he said. We're not necessarily gonna go over that because it's old stuff, right, but just to kind of give you the context. Uh, yeah, so Dr. Disrespect essentially was banned literally everywhere. YouTube did not ban him, but they demonetized him, which is in a way like, you know, he's not able to make money with YouTube. He reapplied for monetization uh, a few weeks back and YouTube ultimately denied him and I guess that's what led him to seek a new deal on a different platform and this is what just went down and I want to show you guys the first video here from GWM shout out to Jake Lucky but the responses here the comments are wild and the comments here are completely wild on the second clip which we're gonna actually talk about it's kind of hilarious but roll it just several weeks after rumors that Doc was not gonna be approached by other competing platforms for a streaming deal well it seems the news has changed as it was first kind of hinted at by doc that he would be leaving youtube to sign a yeah. deal with rumble a platform out there uh certainly met with uh, some controversial tones we haven't really seen them sign any big streamers in recent news but they kind of caught a big wave there for for someone like steve will do it they also had you know speed was on there alongside kai for a short period of time with a with a series of content now, now personally like i don't use rumble but i like i like the fact that rumble is growing as well uh, whether you love doc or or hate doc i'm not talking about that i'm just talking rumble as a platform because rumble essentially promotes free speech right so that's the aspect i like it personally and it's good that rumble is growing because we ultimately need uh, different platforms youtube is good i love youtube though don't get me wrong but you know even youtube has uh, the element of not super they're not super friendly with free speech but youtube is certainly better than let's just say twitch right rumble is ultimately where like if you get banned on these platforms rumble is like a jail for a youtube jail essentially if you if you're banned on youtube that's where you go so but but wait for it i want to show you the second clip right after this too wait for it and then you have people like i think sneeko is on there rice gum you, you can probably get the the picture they've they've had some big signings that have been very intermittent and i would say not been like too much consistency of like people actually going to rumble but that's just my opinion when it comes to the streaming wars of youtube twitch and kick uh, i don't think okay. many people consider rumble to be a top competitor but maybe that will change as they've now announced some somewhat controversial news of giving a giant platform deal to dr disrespect who would also tease this days before it happens Controversial, controversial. Let me show you guys the responses real quick on the Jake video, and then you're gonna see the the responses on the second video. Completely different. Jake is just a hater. Tbh said Doc's continued downfall. Okay, so far we haven't heard that. We bought you by the looks of it. Doc hater sounds salty. If Lamal, Jake voted for Kamala Harris. Now the <laughs> the second video that I want to show you in just a little bit, right? The the comments are vastly different. There's no party like a Rumble party featuring Doctor Disrespect. Seems like like it's gonna be a minor inconvenience for rumble at least he didn't switch to youtube kids amen oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah that's just a teaser for you guys out there wait for it Twenty-five thousand dollar time it is if i lose the match twenty-five thousand dollars what it's unfucking believable <laughs> okay he's gonna announce it right i think he about to announce it. No signal. Doctor disrespect updates. Okay. Connection redirected. Anytime now. 
And that news finally became official as Rumble has announced the signing of Dr. Disrespect to the platform. I have to imagine that still a majority of his streams, or at least some of them, will remain to be on YouTube, and he'll be doing some sort of exclusive content while live streaming. I, I suppose he's probably also going to do like uh, multi-streaming, just like Fresh and Fit, right? They were also demonetized by YouTube, so generally speaking, they stream everywhere, right? And at the end, they go on Rumble. So I think that he's going to do that, and ultimately some like exclusive streams on Rumble. Yeah, uh, I, I guess that's like a smart strategy in that way. In that way. On Rumble, and a uh, big note here, as part of his deal, apparently is an equity deal. Uh, so I don't know what those actual uh, benchmarks he has to achieve are, but they make sure to mention this is an equity deal for Doc and Rumble, which is, it's, it's actually really crazy the timing of all of this like i never would have thought when a Holy. streamer admits to doing what doc did that this then spells the sign of a big platform to be like this is the proper time to offer him a multi-million dollar deal we've like we've never seen something like this before i think that speaks a little bit to, to rumble and uh, I think it kind of aligns to the path that Rumble has gone down uh, since its inception. But regardless of that, yeah. Doc fans are, are certainly happy because he's getting uh, even a bigger bag to, to keep on streaming. And uh, regardless of what you think of what he did admit doing, and of course, the downfall ever since then, he has been pulling legit streamer numbers still yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. He's had a yeah. diehard loyal fan base for you know over a decade now, and that has continued for him on YouTube. But with YouTube certainly not giving him a deal and other platforms certainly not giving yeah. him anyone deals including Doc. kick, kick uh, if i'm not mistaken kick was it kick that uh, offered him i believe 10 million right 10 million before the drama and after that kick said nah bro <laughs> no nah, man we don't want you rumble accepted rumble accepted we're, uh, I, uh, did the numbers come out uh, yet we're not sure right doc uh yeah rumble jumps in out of nowhere to give a, a big streamer deal for um, how much though how much like nobody's doing these any anymore so i'm actually kind of confused why this is happening but it looks like doc will be the latest joining of rumble we'll see exactly what that content entails if it's just gaming if he's going to go the speed and kai route which is a bit more unique and, and they had a high budget to work with but we await and see but to next time what do you guys think about this one till next time also yeah okay so that's why people said jake is a hater now let's talk about why people are saying at least he didn't switch to youtube kids seems like it's gonna be a minor inconvenience for rumble shout out to the homie optimus let's see roll it i want to hear his take too back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about dr disrespect and this big recent update with him because this morning we got a press release from the folks over at rumble that has announced that they signed on dr disrespect to do some pretty yeah, yeah. major work over on the platform now this is something that people were rumoring was going to be coming for a few weeks at least up until this point i saw some mm -hmm. posts the other day where people were like you know speculating on what was coming next because dr disrespect ended his what appears to be final stream on youtube with this clip that kind of hit I, I don't think he's gonna end completely like i don't think he's gonna stop streaming uh, completely on youtube if he does that would be insane or maybe he's gonna do stream on both for a little bit and then ultimately just stay on rumble but i i think that would be mm, kind of stupid in a way right because like if he really now listen i'm not defending doc i'm not accusing doc i'm just talking about the topic in an unbiased way all right but but here's the thing i, I believe it's gonna be smart to multi-stream and sometimes exclusively stream on Rumble. Because, uh, yeah, YouTube is not gonna uh, get him a deal towards this whole decision coming that he was going to be moving from YouTube to Rumble. So obviously this is all following the last six or eight months of Dr. Disrespect's career where things have been pretty up and down, right? So yeah, yeah. back in the summertime, like June, I want to say there were these massive allegations that became like the centerfold of everything surrounding Dr. Disrespect. There was these allegations that the reason he separated from Twitch all the way back in the day and everything kind of was hush hush was because a Twitch employee found out through the uh, software or whatever that Dr. Disrespect was uh, inappropriately speaking with a minor, I guess is the best yeah. way to put it. So Dr. Whoa. Disrespect initially responded and admitted that an inappropriate conversation happened. He then later kind of retracted the statement and like kind of was like, I kind of played everybody. But now- I, I, And then he del he deleted that tweet as well, right? And, and right after his acknowledgement and saying that, guys, listen, it's not my opinion. That's what Doc said. And what Optimus said is uh, also not his opinion. Doc did say that himself. And apparently a month or two months later, he deleted that said statement and tweet. Uh, and, and that's what- uh, kind of uh, made YouTube demonetize him, right? Before that, it was just his studio, the one he founded, let him go. Uh, and so far, we we still haven't seen any sort of, like, evidence or chat logs or anything like that. I, I, I remember, like, a lot of people were demanding that. And rightfully so, a lot of people were like, hey, we need to see the proof, we need to see what was said. Was it, like, just uh, him being rude? 
or was it like really him trying to get down with the miner which is of course a big no but people were like hey we want to see like the chat logs like what was said because the the, the news was big folks like 100 million views was uh, generated just on doc tweet statement alone uh, but now of course it's deleted right so it was big it was uh, really big now, uh, after great, all of but... that, he kind of came back to streaming after taking time away or whatever to kind of like let yeah, everything yeah, yeah. play out. And then now, obviously, we're going to be taking a look at this. So Rumble, the video sharing platform and cloud services provider, today announced that Dr. Disrespect has joined Rumble and will be streaming his popular content on the platform as part of an agreement uh -oh. that includes equity with milestones. As a majority of its compensation, Dr. Disrespect will provide exclusive content to Rumble Premium for his Champions Club community. Dr. Disrespect will also lead Rumble Gaming, acting as an advisor and helping to build the Rumble Gaming community. Dr. Disrespect is one of the world's best known online streamers, continuously in the top charts. Uh, Dr. Disrespect Respect's first stream on Rumble will be December 2nd, 2024. They already have his Rumble channel up. Apparently, he's going to do a free show there. Additional exclusive content available to subscribers of the community. Through community Rumble okay. Premium, they're even offering a fucking discount and whatnot, right? So this is a pretty yeah. major development, obviously. Not oh, man, the way he said it, especially on that 1.5 times YouTube speed. Oh, man. <laughs> It was just hilarious, man. What? Not only in Dr. Disrespect's uh, career, but also just in the streaming world in general. So, like I said, Dr. Disrespect, after all the allegations, after all the drama that kind of happened after that, he took some time where, you know, he wasn't streaming, he wasn't doing his normal routines or whatever. Yeah. And then he kind of comes back. He, try, I think, tries to fly under the radar just a little bit. Like, he makes some comments on Twitter, you know, he's kind of trolling or trying to fuck with people. People are, like, clowning him in the comments about, like, all the stuff that happened, you know, all the drama and allegations. Yeah, but there yeah. was, like, this wonder if he was even going to be able to come back, right? Now, obviously, mm. here on the channel, I've covered plenty of different situations where, like, yeah, shit yeah, like this yeah, happens. Yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. gets accused of, like, really wild or fucked up stuff. Facts, next facts, thing facts, you know, facts. everyone's kind of speculating like, what's the next move? What's going to happen next? Well, this is a pretty big move because like, uh, it's not really like other streaming deals. Now, I know when you hear, oh, Dr. Disrespect is signed by Rumble. The first thing you probably think of is like when Ninja got signed by Mixer back when that was even still a thing. And all these other content creators, streamers, podcast hosts, whatever, that have been getting these exclusivity deals from platforms like Twitch, YouTube, obviously now Rumble, Kick. And this is pretty different because I mean, yeah, he's going to be creating content. That is obviously a huge part of this whole thing. But it goes beyond just like, a, oh, hey, we'll pay you to stream on our platform kind of thing. I think yeah. that's what everybody would have really expected here. This is like a more fundamental thing. So one thing I noticed in this whole press release here that sounded pretty different compared to what we usually think is the fact that he's mostly being paid in equity in the company. Now, Rumble is a publicly traded company. So I, I wonder like, what's the deal, right? Like, uh, may maybe we're going to find out, maybe not. Generally speaking, we usually find out though. Uh, I remember like kick in, but that was like pre-ban, right? Pre-Dr. Disrespect news, right? We heard that they were offering him 10 million. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, if memory does me right, he said 50 million, 50 million is the price right now. Okay. He said 50 50 million uh but and uh, right now kick is like now nah, bro like gtfo rumble was like okay we're gonna we're, we're gonna sign him and uh, sign him uh, uh we're gonna sign him and indeed they did so i wondered like what's uh what's the numbers i suspect it, it gotta be between 10 million and 50 million or maybe 10 million maybe 20 uh yeah nobody knows so far i guess we're gonna we're gonna find out very soon so like if you trade stocks or you have a portfolio, you could right now, hypothetically. Or or I guess they gave him like a share, like a stock, some sort of like stock value in the company or share, or maybe he's like a big shareholder makes sense in a way in a way right go buy shares in rumble and like invest in the company so i guess he's getting a shit ton of these shares if there's yeah, milestones that he completes perhaps. he gets more equity or he gets paid bonuses who knows really i figure most streamers and content creators are more used to the like monthly payment strategy where it's like oh you come stream 40 hours a week here we're gonna go ahead and pay you eighty thousand a month so this is pretty different this is a much more fundamental like deeply rooted relationship this isn't one of those things where it's like a streamer coming along for six months or whatever like we've seen that happen in this industry but i mean he's gonna be doing like the gaming advising for rumble gaming so that's like an actual figurehead rumble position gaming. where they're trying to like grow this side of their brand they're trying to build themselves up as like a gaming platform because right now rumble is kind of just a normal video platform i guess is the best way to put it and so they're trying to like expand and compete with twitch and whatnot in a much better direct way so they are basically bringing him in as a content creator and somebody who works inside directly with the company so i think that's part of the fundamental difference between platforms like rumble and youtube i mean you would never hear something like this from youtube like it doesn't matter i don't even think they would hire fucking kai Sinat. you know what i mean i don't think that's how youtube really operates so when you hear shit like this it just sounds different because everyone reports it yeah because uh, youtube is so big that they they know everybody's gonna be there they they don't necessarily but to be fair though like a couple of years ago they did sign people right like they they, they, they we've seen like streamer deals and all that we've seen streamer, streamer deal in fact if i'm not mistaken holy crap i believe they even signed doctor to suspect oh, shit. Oh. yeah right like they they paid him or because he was banned on twitch and he took like a break right and then he came on youtube holy crap i believe they paid him they they had him, they gave him a deal uh same as like courage if i'm not mistaken and other streamers perhaps nick nick as well tim as well could be wrong it could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong right but youtube did give give out some 
sponsors uh, to get like some streamers off of Twitch and be on YouTube. But then they kind of stopped doing that. They kind of stopped doing that. But initially they did. Initially they did. It was like, oh, that's how it is. But obviously, uh, there's a pretty split reaction to this. I mean, there's been a lot of people who've supported and defended Dr. Disrespect from the jump anyway. Like, even when the allegations were all still fresh and going on, even when, like, Dr. Disrespect put his statements out and edited them and retracted them and stuff like that, you know, people still still stood by him. They thought that he was being unfairly canceled. They thought that a situation that was, a, I guess, a nothing burger was getting blown up into this, like, really weird thing where people were, like, hypersexualizing it. So a lot of people defended Dr. Disrespect. And so for them, they see this as, like, a championing move. They see this as, like, you know, the two time really getting a dub here. And I mean, for him, it is obviously a dub. He's getting signed on to work yeah. with Rumble. He already worked with YouTube. He probably completed that contract, I'd imagine. And then, of course, there's people who are just mm. like, well, how did this happen, right? Because, I mean, these were some pretty serious allegations. It wasn't like the situation I remember a few years ago when people were like, oh, he cheated on his wife. And obviously, yep. people think that's wrong. It is wrong. But it's a lot different than like having inappropriate conversations with a child. So mm. a lot of yeah, people yeah. thought that like yeah, that would have yeah. been the end of his career. It was like no point he could come back from. But like that's I said, you know, crazy. he just kind of walked away from it. He took that time off. He took the weeks away from the streaming and everything. And I think this situation really kind of teaches this in a whole new perspective for a lot of these people who were mad about this. But when it comes to like internet, internet cancellation and people like going after you and like shit like that nine times out of ten it is not something that's going to do anything regardless like it's always crazy yeah they you only get canceled if you let them cancel you is the is the thing right now for sure this does not apply to everybody for example dr disrespect is canceled right sponsors dropped him uh, Twitch banned him completely. YouTube demonetized him. Essentially, he's not able to earn revenue from super chats or sponsorships no more. Like the join button, right? Uh, that is on YouTube. Hey, if you want to become a member, feel free to. It would be definitely a pleasure to have you. Also, if you guys do have Twitter, Instagram, it would be a pleasure to have you, man. It would be my honor, my pleasure to have a stud muffin like you there over on Twitter, X, uh, Instagram. It would be a pleasure to have you there. Links are always below. Uh, but see, Doc, of course, like Dr. Disrespect is already a millionaire. So he doesn't need money. I mean, everybody needs money. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's like, he's already, he already made it. He already made it. So he's in a place where he cannot be canceled. Sometimes you are in a place where you cannot be canceled. Other times you, you get canceled. That's it. You are done for, right? It's one of those things. Right. Crazy to have, have watch this shit happen in the moment because like obviously these allegations are fucking wild they're off the wall people react to it and everyone's like oh shit because I mean it, it's serious enough to where people would think that'd be it but like I said there was a lot of people who stood behind him and then the way the internet works is man like shit really matters for like two maybe three days max depending on what it max, is yeah, but yeah, if you yeah. just get through that 72 hours and you don't fucking like keep kicking the hornet's nest or whatever most of the time the, most of the time you don't even respond is what I'm seeing like uh, the, the the youtubers and streamers that have been cancelled on the internet that I've seen over the years the ones that really got out of it and made it what were the ones that didn't even acknowledge it that didn't even apologize for it you know right now there's like a mr beast uh, situation going on of course everybody called out mr beast right like the accusations were crazy now mr beast is responding to it some people are believing him some not quite frankly though i didn't even dug deeper into it so i'm like still behind on what's going on right now some are saying that mr beast is uh, has done an internal investigation and they found no wrongdoing but they was they were the ones that investigated themselves so it's like don't even matter other people are like hey man he was right so uh, 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 yeah so mr beast uh, accusations were so crazy right now he's responding but people are mixed with it and we're at a point where nobody necessarily cares about it, but people initially cared for it when it was fresh. He took way too long to respond to it. Uh, so, yeah, right? Essentially, once you're like that big and you don't respond, people forget and move on. People don't care. Because there's always some new crap the next day, right? There's always something new. And of course, everybody's busy, right? Like, everybody got like their own issues and problems. So it's like, you hear a controversy, you hear drama, you're like, what? Crazy! You got dopamine, you got serotonin, you like you know and then it's like nobody cares anymore because there's always something something new going on yeah and the youtubers and the streamers that were cancelled and that made it still or that were not affected were the ones that never even bothered to respond or responded once but then dipped or never talked about and never talked about that again right those are the ones that made it for example, T. Martin, Syndicate, you remember the CSGO Lotto thing like in Call of Duty? Yeah, they were Call of Duty streamers, uh, still sometimes playing this and that. Especially Syndicate, like he did zombie streams, right, with Black Ops 6. But T. Martin, yeah, he was, he did apologize, I remember. I'm not sure if he deleted that video, 
later on you know with that dog with his cooper with the dog he did an apology video with the dog ultimately that backfired and i believe he deleted and then never touched that and he's fine though sandy kid never even dropped an apology video he never even talked about it and he's doing amazing he's doing good everybody forgot about it right so it's and nobody cares so that's what it is you just if you get cancelled don't even talk about it bro that's 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 what i've noticed that's what i've noticed time you can just walk the fuck away and nothing happens i mean over the last few years we've gotten like really worried about cancel culture and like people doing this shit online and in some instances like people do really get canceled you know what i mean like there are people out there who lose their jobs they lose their yeah, livelihoods yeah. they lose their dreams you know what i mean all over L like for example dr disrespect he got banned and he's demonetized on youtube now let's be real if dr disrespect was not a millionaire if he wasn't making and a youtube and streaming was the only thing he was doing and he wasn't earning money outside of that I think he would have quit and ultimately would be really cancelled. He's cancelled, but he's not cancelled if that makes sense, right? allegations or like shit that happened or something that they did but i hate to bring this up but like look at edp 445 for example right like he got caught multiple times literally trying to meet up with a child and it was all documented it was all on camera they had the messages of him like getting diddy with fucking kids kind of shit you know what i mean and he didn't even get arrested and charged because like the evidence apparently got botched so much and like it got yeah. to the point where the police couldn't use it so like when you see people do shit like that in front of everybody in the world and literally nothing happens to them it kind of gets to this point where you almost expect for nothing to happen like this was yeah. a serious enough allegation that you would for a lot of people it would have been fucking lethal you know if you're a smaller creator or something this oh, is something so that hangs in the shadows all the time but like dr disrespect just walked away from all of it and now here we are yeah. at a point where he's announcing that he's working with rumble directly so i know a lot of people are probably also sitting there wondering like oh why would rumble work with somebody like this why would rumble sign somebody or hire somebody who has all these allegations and has had all these dramas and these past situations and whatnot well obviously there's two major reasons that come to mind right off the top for me now number one rumble has always as a platform been like more dedicated to like free speech and like providing the alternative yeah, yeah. platform where maybe people who aren't in the good graces of the mainstream or like people who don't want to deal with like the restrictions and shit that happens on mainstream mainstream platforms that, that's what rumble is supposed to be it's supposed yep, to be yeah, the yeah. other side of the video part of the internet where people who feel like they're silent so they don't fit in elsewhere can like go you know what i mean and rumble's facts, grown facts, pretty respectively facts. you know what i mean like i try to upload my videos to rumble too uh, i used to have and i'm not talking about dr disrespect here guys i'm talking in general it's a good thing that there are platforms out there that promotes free speech even though i'm not using rumble i had I've, i still got an account there i i had an account where you know i linked it with youtube but then ultimately youtube and they did it not just with me but they did it to everybody right so there was a link I believe it's called API syndication. I believe that's the term for it. Basically, what it means is that you make an account on Rumble and you link with your YouTube with it, and it's automatically gonna upload all your YouTube videos to the platform. And YouTube caught it and they ultimately cut ties with it. And they, yeah, YouTube just were like, nah, bro, we don't wanna, we don't want that. And they ultimately gave up on that. So, yeah, right? And a lot of YouTubers did that. They were like, okay, so why not? Why not, right? BitChute is another one I heard. I have an account on BitChute, right? I, I don't use it, but it's like I made it, set it up, linked with YouTube, and all the YouTube videos go there. So it's like set it and forget it kind of thing. If eventually, BitChute, if they're decent size, but of course they're nowhere near the size of Rumble, nowhere near the size of YouTube, right? And BitChute, if I feel like that, if bit should ever blows up the way rumble did i think youtube is also gonna cut ties with them you know so yeah i hate that but I, I i get it why youtube is doing that because all of these companies are businesses they don't wanna give access it's like facebook twitter now even if you link to something off platform you're gonna be punished like the algorithm's not gonna like it because they want people to stay on you youtube want people to stay on youtube facebook want people to stay on facebook so they ultimately make more money that way they want you to be sucked into the system essentially that's how the algorithm is uh, that's how the mafia works ladies and gentlemen but recently we had the nick merck situation going around we had the uh, nick merck's controversy check out this video on the screen he this is what he said and it is absolutely baffling man check it out and i'll see you there